We've all got the same 24 hours. How are you leveraging it? Time management is one of the biggest issues that real estate agents talk about constantly, whether it's a single agent, small team, large team, team member, team leaders, whomever, time management is an issue in business and specifically in real estate. And what I hear happen all the time is people say, I don't have enough time to do this. I don't have enough time to do that. And they spend more of their time being busy than being productive. There's a big difference there. Productivity are things that earn you income. Busy is kind of that like busy work, sort of administrative tasks that can happen that may need to get done or could be delegated or leveraged somewhere else. The point here is according to the National Association of Realtors, the average agent worked 35 hours a week in 2021. So the average agent is part-time. And maybe it's not intentional. Maybe they don't mean to only work 35 hours a week. They're just not managing their time effectively. So I've got an exercise here that will help you understand where your time traps are. There's a lot of things that we all do that can suck time out of our day. They make us less productive. The point is, if you're not tracking and measuring it, you have no idea what those are. So what I got here is a time log. Do this for a week. Break your day down into 15 or 30 minute segments. I've got a grid here, 8 to 8.30, 8.30 to 9. You can start it as early as you want, you get the idea, and write down what you're actually doing during those time blocks. And invariably, you're gonna see, I surfed the internet and looked at Facebook for a half hour, or I scrolled on TikTok and didn't know where 45 minutes went in the middle of the afternoon, or I got stuck on a phone call with someone that was a 20 minute phone call. That's a little different then you can understand once you see what you're doing for a whole week where your time's being spent and then you can work on being more regimented with your time blocks working in and out of those effectively and efficiently and eliminating those time wasters if you're not tracking and measuring it it doesn't matter because your opinion of what you're doing is garbage it's trash facts and data matter and this is going to be a way for you to track this and understand where you're spending your time then you can adjust from there too many people adjust their calendars based on educated guesses or assumptions or a story in their head. And those are all subjective. They're based on your preference, your opinion, what you think is going on instead of the actual data. Data and facts rule the business world. And this is going to be a way for you to determine where you're losing time and where you can gain it. And then how you prioritize those income producing activities within those time blocks. Do this exercise, come back to yourself in a week, have a meeting with yourself and you'll see where the gaps are and you can improve from there. That's how you get better.